What are the three objectives of clinical phase three? A. To establish a drug's clinical effectiveness, safety, and dosage range. B. Languages spoken, health beliefs, and dietary habits. C. Scope of nursing practice, expanded nursing roles, educational requirements. D. Justice, veracity, and confidentiality. Answer A. To establish a drug's clinical effectiveness, safety, and dosage range rational. B. Or cultural assessment. C. Or nursing practice acts. Belonging to nursing practice ethical terms. A new drug has been approved for use and the drug manufacturer has made it available for sale. During the first six months. The FDA received reports of severe adverse effects that were not discovered during the testing and considers were trying to drag. This illustrates which phase of investigational drug studies. A. Phase 1 B. Phase 2 C. Phase 3 D. Phase 4 Answer. Phase 4 Phase 1 studies involve small numbers of healthy subjects. The purpose of this phase is to determine the optimal dosage range in the pharmacokinetics of the drug and to ascertain if further testing is needed. Phase 2 studies involve small numbers of volunteers who have the disease or element that the drug is designed to diagnose or treat. Phase 3 studies involve large number of patients. The purpose of large sample sizes is to provide information about infrequent or rare adverse effects that may not have been observed during previous small studies. Phase 4 post-marketing studies voluntarily conducted by pharmaceutical companies to obtain further proof of the therapeutic and adverse effects of the new drug. A patient of Japanese descent it describes a family trait that manifests frequently. She says that members of her family often have strong reactions after taking certain medications. But her white friends have no problems with the same dosages of the same drugs. The nurse recognizes that because of this trait. Which statement applies? A. She may need lower dosages of the medications prescribed. B. She may need higher dosages of the medications prescribed. C. She should not receive these medications because of potential problems with metabolism. D. The situations vary greatly, and her accounts may not indicate a value would cause for concern. Answer A. She may need lower dosages of the medications prescribed. A patient is undergoing major surgery and asks the nurse about a living will. He states, I don't want anyone making decisions for me, and I don't want to prolong my life. The patient is demonstrating A. Autonomy B. Beneficence C. Justice D. Veracity Answer A. Autonomy Rational Self-determination and the ability to act on one's own related nursing actions include promoting a patient's decision-making, supporting informed consent, and assisting in decisions or making a decision when a patient is posing harm to himself or herself. When caring for an elderly Chinese patient, the nurse recognizes that which of these cultural issues may influence the care of this patient A. Radiographs are seen as a break in the soul's integrity B. Hospital diets are interpreted as being healing and healthful C. The use of heat may be an important practice for this patient D. Being hospitalized as a source of peace and socialization for this culture. Answer C. The use of heat may be an important practice for this patient. A patient is being counseled for possible participation in a clinical trial for a new medication. After the patient meets with the physician, the nurse is asked to obtain the patient's signature on the consent forms. The nurse knows that this informed consent indicates which of the following? A. Once therapy has begun. The patient cannot withdraw from the clinical trial B. The patient has been informed of all potential hazards and benefits of the therapy. C. The patient has received only the information that will help to make the clinical trial a success. D. No matter what happens, the patient will not be able to sue the research for damages.
Answer B. The patient has been informed of all potential hazards and benefits of the therapy. Which racial group is predicted to be nearly 1 in 3 U.S. residents in 2050? A. African American B. Asian C. Hispanic B. White Answer C. Hispanic What is the U.S. drug legislation? A. U.S. Food and Drug Administration B. A systematic and a measurement process C. Health Insurance Portability and Accountability Act HIPAA D. Investigational New Drug Ind. Answer. C. Health Insurance Portability and Accountability Act, HIPAA. Rational HIPAA is an act that protects health insurance coverage for workers and their families when they change jobs. It also protects patients' information. If confidentiality of a patient is breached, severe fines may be imposed. D is a drug not yet approved for marketing by the FDA but available for use in experiments to determine its safety and efficacy. But B does not apply. Which of the following statements regarding African American responses to antihypertensive medication therapy is true? A. African Americans respond better to diuretics than to beta blockers. B. African Americans do not respond to deltaism. C. Single drug therapy is effective for African Americans. D. Hypertension is uncommon in the African American population. Answer A. African Americans respond better to diuretics than to beta blockers. A research group is conducting an investigational drug study on a promising new drug for osteoporosis. It has been difficult to find research participants who meet the criteria. Just before the conclusion of the study, four participants approached the researchers and expressed their desire to withdraw from the study. What is the researcher's priority intervention? A. Inform them that they waited too long to withdraw from the study. B. Explore with them the reasons for withdrawing from the study. C. Acknowledge that they can withdraw at any time from the study. D. Request that they try to remain with the study until it is completed. Answer C. Acknowledge that they can withdraw at any time from the study. A nurse does not notice that a patient's IV site is swollen, red, painful, and warm to touch nor that the IV has quit infusing properly. What ethical principle does this involve? A. Breach of duty B. Duty C. Causation D. Damage Answer A. Breach of duty What is the purpose of clinical phase 1? A. To determine the optimal dosage range and the pharmacokinetics of the drug and to ascertain if further testing is needed. B. And application submitted is approved by the FDA C. using tissue samples and cell cultures. D. An inactive substance that is not a drug but is formulated to resemble a drug. Answer A. To determine the optimal dosage range and the pharmacokinetics of the drug and to ascertain if further testing is needed rational. Usually involves small numbers of healthy subjects rather than those who have the disease or ailment that the new drug is intended to treat. B. Is the process of clinical studies. C. Is in vitro studies. D. Is placebo. A nurse has been asked to participate in an elective procedure that violates the nurse's personal ethical principles. What is the nurse's best action? A. Refuse to participate. B. Ask to switch assignments with another nurse. C. Speak to the manager or supervisor. D. Perform the procedure. Answer A. Refuse to participate. What is the purpose of clinical phase 3? A. The study of drug response B. To provide information about frequent or rare adverse effects that may not yet have been observed during smaller studies C. 
minimizes bias on the part of both the investigator and the subject. D. Pharmaceutical companies to obtain further proof of the therapeutic and adverse effects of the new drug. Answer B. To provide information about frequent or rare adverse effects that may not yet have been observed during smaller studies rational. Clinical Phase 3 involves large numbers of patients who are followed by medical research centers and other types of healthcare entities. D is Clinical Study Phase 4. What is the Food and Drug Administration FDA primary purpose? A. Patient privacy to their health information. B. To protect patients and ensure drug effectiveness. C. Preclinical investigational drug studies D. Use in experiments to determine its safety and efficacy. Answer B. To protect patients and ensure drug effectiveness. When evaluating polymorphism and medication administration, the nurse considers which factor? Select all that apply. A. Nutritional status. B. Drug routine. C. Patient's ethnicity. D. Cultural beliefs. E. Patient's age. Answer A. Nutritional status. C. Patient's ethnicity. D. Cultural beliefs. E. Patient's age.